Hello my beauties and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Jamie. In today's video, there's a couple things that I want to tackle. I want to um, declutter and organize the kids' closets and drawers, get rid of clothes that um, doesn't fit them anymore, and then probably do my closet as well. And just, I feel like these are things that I just keep putting off and putting off. And right now is the time to do it since we are stuck at home. So if you want some motivation on decluttering and just organizing your home, then just keep on watching. I cannot start my day and be productive without making my bed. So we are going to make the bed first. About to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Die with my own doubts. Be free with me. Okay, so next we are in my son Noah's bedroom. For sure, I want to go through his shorts. I want to get rid of the four or fives that don't fit anymore. I want to see what he has and um, like see what he needs. So anyways, I'm going to um, go through his shorts. And then I'm going to give away Noah's shorts to one of my good friends because her son is four and he wears four or five. So it'll be nice to, um, I usually donate, but I figured that I would give them to her because these shorts are like new. He didn't wear them a lot, and um, I have a lot of like shorts and bathing suits, and I think I'm gonna give them to her. So, um, so let's go through that right now. Okay, so I'm gonna go through all of these shorts, <laughs> and then through those bins, and then see what else um, we can get rid of. There's too many bathing suits in here that probably don't fit them anymore, and then pajamas. Oops, can't even open the drawers. I have to like really get in there. And then see there's more space down here, pajamas. So let's go ahead and get started. You guys see that? Like I have like weekend shorts when we go out and I want to look nicer. And then school shorts and then lounge shorts. Sure, I keep bathing suits because it's higher and he can't really get to it and we don't like use it he doesn't open that drawer you know every day <laughs>
this makes me happy. It's nice and organized. I try to organize it by color the best that I could. Um, like short sleeve, like button downs, long sleeve, some Christmas tops that will fit him later this year. And then um, I need to find some nicer hangers for pants. Um, I've tried to fold all these and put them in the drawer, but it just takes up too much room. So I need to look for some cuter hangers for hanging up pants and then just like sweaters here. And I try to kind of like put them in color order as well. So there's that. And then here I'm going to get rid of all of these shorts. Um, a lot of like swim shorts. I'm gonna, my friend's going to be so happy. A lot of swim shorts, tops, and like summer shorts, lounge shorts. So all those I'm giving away. Originally, I had this folded like KonMari style that you can see here, but then we do laundry and then we just toss stuff in here, so I'm going to try to um, fold it like that again. Once there's not a lot of space in the drawers, I have to get out the clothes that doesn't fit them anymore because usually I should have space, you know what I mean? So I know when they're overflowing is because um, there's clothes in there that doesn't fit the kids. So I try to do this every season and sometimes I do it in between, but um, if I stay on top of it, I feel like it's just more organized. Okay, so really quickly, um, underwear and undershirts, pants. This looks very nice. Like these are like daily pants, going outside pants, school pants. And then down here, I have like the fleece pajamas that we won't be using, I don't think anymore. Um, so I got rid of a bunch. Now we have some space for a couple of new ones if we need any, but um, I love when I have space. And then in this top drawer, I love how this looks, you guys. This is how I like our t-shirts to be because I can see what we have, what my kids have, and it's just organized. Do you know what I mean? A lot of these here are more like for the school and then like here are like summer t-shirts. And then like, and then on this side, like some nicer tops. Like if like, I don't know, like when he wears khaki shorts or something like that. So a lot of school, summer, and like nicer, t-shirts and um they're all short sleeve so these are all short sleeve shirts i love this and then down here i have a uh, long sleeves so all of his long sleeves are here um so you can see i made space again and again i can see what I, he has 
I feel like when it's piled on, I don't know what he has. I feel like we wear the same five shirts, you know what I mean? And this way you can reach for different t-shirts. So I love this. And then down here, it's like Christmas t-shirts, school t-shirts, birthday t-shirts, uh, um, Disney t-shirts. And then what I what he does need is tank tops. So I got rid of a lot of tank tops and he needs um, more like tank tops for summertime. So that I'll be buying him. But um, that's what I keep in this drawer. Oh my gosh, I love it. Very nice. Okay, so in here, I'm gonna um, organize the books. Some of these books are Madison's. I feel like when everything is disorganized, like when the books are disorganized, the kids don't have interest in them. Um, and when they're organized, a lot of Christmas ones. Um, it just, it's more appealing to them, you know what I mean? Where if it's all thrown in here, they don't even bother, which I don't like that, so. Tiger ones and the Peppa Pig books they love those and he loves his Dr. Seuss books so we'll put them up front he re literally reads all of these to us now every night it's so cute Okay, so this looks so much better. Um, nice and organized and with all his favorite books that he reads. So now he'll be digging around. They'll all be in order. All right, loves. So I thought I was recording the last 15 minutes and I wasn't. So I'm going to tell you what I just did. And then I also had bathing suits hanging and... I just feel like it was just too much because then I ran out of hangers. So I decided to use this bin. I took out stuff that didn't fit her and just, just junk and um, put the bathing suits in here. And I think it looks so much nicer. So let's see, I put like two cover-ups in here. And then all, I kept all the bathing suits that um, fit her right now. And um, in order, like with the matching set, so she doesn't need bathing suits. I mean, she has all of these and um, I love that. So bathing suits, two cover-ups, and I'm gonna just put them in here. Again, dress pajamas, dresses. I try to put them in like color order. Blues, denim, and pinks, and whites. And then down here are like all her t-shirts. Like these are like school t-shirts, weekday t-shirts, um, stuff like that. And I also put these in color order or tried the best that I could. And then on this side, we have like sweater tops sweats that she uses like to go outside and for school 
and then down here uh, like sweaters to go over her outfits and stuff like that and then here I have like seven diaper bags that I'm like holding on to <laughs> so that's pretty much it I love how this looks can find everything now so what I ended up doing here in the drawers is again I had all of these warm fleece pajamas hanging and they're just bulky and take up too much space clearly she doesn't need any more pajamas uh, fleece pajamas but I'm gonna just still keep the Christmas ones and then these are like I guess for now like the springtime and then sometimes it's chilly at night so I just try to keep these out like on hand just in case we need them so um, she doesn't need any of these but I love how organized it is and then I put this high up because this is something we're not reaching for anymore. So she doesn't need to um, have like access to this drawer. Plus she's too short for the bed. Okay, and then in this drawer I have her leggings. I mean these are like her daily leggings she wears. She doesn't need any leggings. And then her shorts I folded like this again so I can see um, what she has, what she needs. Um, so shorts. Okay, and then the next two drawers, guys, are pajamas. Um, so I didn't fold them the other way. I just feel like there's just too many. So for now, I just left it like this. Back here is like summer pajamas. They're like shorts, so she's not wearing those. Here's our daily pajamas that she wears. And then same here, um, pajama sets. I mean, they're in order. But for now, this will do. So, three drawers of pajamas. That's crazy. And again, I put these up top because um, she's not reaching for those. And then this is just easy access for me to get. And then pajamas, I put them low because um, she loves to choose her pajamas at night. And these are like easy access for her. And then down here is um, underwear and undershirts and socks. Madison, first say hi, baby. Hi. <laughs> Do you like how mommy organized your books? Yeah. And yeah. We're gonna give baby to this book. You're gonna give the baby those books? Yeah. It's, it says elephant. It's an elephant. I'll read to you guys. You're gonna read it? Okay. It was a bunny time. It was a lion bunny. Everyone knows. All right, my love, so we're going to take a little bit of a break from organizing and decluttering. Um, really quickly, um, I ordered a rug and it just came in. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to include this in the video so I can share it with you guys. And you guys can give me your ideas if, of like what you think and stuff like that. Um, so pretty much I wanted a area rug for where my little dining table is here in my kitchen area. My kitchen's right here. And um, I just feel like a lot of dust collected under this table. Like I have to vacuum it like every day or every other day. So I wanted to get a rug. Um, I'm gonna show you um, the rug that I got. Okay, so, well actually, really quickly, this rug right here, this like ivory and gray, I have that rug by my front door entrance. This is a four by six. So I put it here just to see if it's something that I would like here, but, um, which I do like it, but I would have I was gonna get a bigger size. So a, I think a five by seven would have been the next size up. So that was my plan. So I wanted to add color, so I ended up going with this beautiful rug. And I I was so before I unroll it, I was like, okay, this looks like the picture online because I was really afraid of ordering online because usually like the colors don't match up with like what they say, you know what I mean? But I started unrolling and I was like, oh my gosh, this is beautiful. I have to share it.
Okay, so obviously I just unrolled it. So I'm gonna give it a few days to kind of like lay flat, but loves this is beautiful. Like I wanted something that can give it like the pop of color when I would put like my beautiful placemats like this. Like this is exactly what I was looking for and it is gorgeous. Okay, so I just wanted to share that with you guys if you are on the market for area rugs and stuff like that. And I'll leave all the info in the description box. This is a five by seven. It, it fits perfect for a table with four chairs. Yeah, I think four chairs. Um, and actually, I probably could have got the size a little bit bigger. It just depends like on your area. Five by seven, or I think the next one is like a seven by nine. So now let's go back upstairs and continue decluttering and organizing. All right, love. So now we are in my closet. I'm gonna just try to go through it really quickly and declutter the best that I could. So let's get started. I'm feeling way too low to start this night, but I wanna get to your bash. Last night you tried to make me angry, yeah, but this time I get you mad. Oh, don't need apologies enough for this. I'm burning for you. Can't get enough of the weekend. I wanna see the night like I can't let go. Can't get enough of the weekend. Don't wanna ever get lost to the sun. Oh no. We can't get made progress a lot of hangers on the floor excuse me baby and then here's a pile of donation and then that is um, just clothes that I've been putting aside for hauls and stuff like that but I think I'm gonna just end up hanging all of that because um, it's just getting wrinkled in a bag and then I have some stuff here on the floor and then so we're getting there so again like this is all lounge wear like sweaters that stay at home and stuff like that and then I had more like weekend sweaters like going out sweaters and then this is more like dressier tops you know so I had these um organized by color but I'm thinking that I'm just gonna even if they're sweaters I'm just gonna still put them like with the dressy tops just because I don't know I just think that'll look better so I'm gonna move all of this here Sweaters are gonna go here, and then we're gonna work with this next up here. Okay, Madison's been eyeing Yay! up this bag. Do you wanna see what's in here? Yeah! Oh wait, more clothes for mommy. Hold on, hold on. That's for mommy, but look, look. I had this saved for a haul, but 
Yay! Show the camera. Whoa. Pretty sandals. But I get it. And look what else. This is mine because I get it. You like them? Because I get it. And then two more Whoa. sandals. I had got these for our vacation. Is that mine? Yeah, it says hello vacation. That's so I get this. Mm hmm. Like awesome. And then this one. Oh my god. And it has a purse. Look at how cute it is. Oh, it's mine. Mm hmm. Can you got more? And that's it. my loves so that is everything i hope that you enjoyed this video i hope it motivates you to clean out your closets declutter your closets and if you want to see more videos like this please don't forget to like comment and subscribe until next time bye beauties